Hello, I'm Michelle Bashan, Agribility and Tractor Safety Outreach Program Coordinator with the UW-Madison Division of Extension. In this video, I'll be introducing the Agribility of Wisconsin program and how it can help you be successful in farming if you are living with an injury, disability, or limitation. The vision of Agribility is to enable a high-quality lifestyle for farmers, ranchers, and other agricultural workers with disabilities. Through education and assistance, Agribility helps to eliminate or at least minimize obstacles that block success in production agriculture or agriculture-related occupations. Agribility is a USDA NIFA grant-funded program that began in 1991 after being included in the 1990 Farm Bill. There is a national Agribility project that provides overall leadership, coordination, and training opportunities. This is currently located at Purdue University. When the program began, there were eight state and regional Agribility projects, or SRAPs. All SRAPs are funded by competitive grants through the USDA that provide base funding. In 2024, there were 21 SRAPs, as indicated in yellow on the map, and eight previously funded affiliate projects that are light gray. Agribility of Wisconsin is the longest tenured Agribility program in the nation, as it has been in continuous existence since the program was created in 1991. All Agribility projects are partnerships between a land-grant university and at least one disability services program. In Wisconsin, that's a partnership between Extension and Easter Seals Wisconsin. To be eligible for the program, you must be a farmer, farm worker, or family member that makes or has the ability to make $1,000 or more per year and be engaged in agriculture with any type of injury, chronic illness, or disabling condition. The most common enterprises we encounter in Wisconsin are dairy, field or grain crops, livestock, and hay. However, as we all know, Wisconsin agriculture is extremely diverse. We also have clients that grow fruit and vegetable crops, raise poultry, alpacas, bees, bison, mushrooms, and even guppies. The primary disabilities among Wisconsin clients include joint injury, back pain, and arthritis. Other disabling condition includes things such as spinal cord injuries or paralysis, amputations, visual and or hearing impairments, disabling diseases, respiratory issues, and PTSD. According to an article in the Journal of Agromedicine, 15 to 20 percent of the U.S. farm population is impacted by a disability. So, how does someone become an Agribility client? Potential clients hear about agribility through events, social media, news, neighbors, family members, or trusted advisors. The enrollment process is free and confidential and can start with either a phone call or form submission on the website. I start by gathering basic client information such as name, phone number, address, birthday, and veteran status. Next, I ask for information about the farm what enterprises they operate, and details about the farm. Finally, I ask what issues they are having that limit what they can do on the farm. No medical records are required, and all client information is stored in a secure database. After enrollment, a rural rehabilitation specialist from the Easter Seals Farm Team, Farm Assessment and Rehabilitation Methods, connects with the client for a phone call and sets up a farm visit. After the farm visit, the farmer meets with their case manager and the rehab specialist to talk over the options that are best suited for their situation. Finally, the farmer can implement suggestions or seek assistance if necessary. Some of the suggestions that may come from the Easter Seals team can be types of assistive technology that would benefit the farmer, assistive technology means any item, piece of equipment, or product system whether acquired commercially off the shelf, modified, or customized, that is used to increase, maintain, or improve the functional capabilities of the person with a disability. I'll take just a moment to touch on a few examples of assistive technology. Grip hooks help hold objects, reducing the amount of grip strength necessary. 
This also reduces the pressure on the palm, keeps the wrist steady, and helps prevent blisters and chafing. Pivoting wheelbarrow handles are an easy and simple way to reduce joint pain as they reduce the need to adjust your hands while dumping. They can also prevent losing control of the wheelbarrow. Anti-vibration gloves reduce the transmission of vibration energy to the hands, arms, and shoulders. Utility carts can help lessen muscle stress and back pain. There are several options to pick from, such as simple carts as pictured, motorized carts, calf carts, carts without wheels, tool carts, and spray carts. Extra steps and handrails for tractors ease the strain on knees and make climbing in and out of the tractor safer. Automatic hitches allow for implement hitching and unhitching without leaving the tractor seat. An auto hitch increases efficiency and can ease the strain on upper body, lower body, back, and arms. Hand controls can be used as an adaption for those struggling with limited lower body mobility. Types of hand controls that can be used include mechanical extensions, as well as electronic, hydraulic, and pneumatic actuators. Pilot lifts allow for a farmer to transfer from a wheelchair to the seat on the lift. The lift then moves them to the operator seat on the equipment. Combining a lift and hand controls can allow a farmer to keep doing what they love even if they're in a wheelchair. With all of the great things we provide at AgAbility, what can't we provide? We are not able to provide funding or equipment through AgAbility grant funds. The farm team at East Just Yields works with clients to find funding sources if necessary. Most funding for assistive technology comes through the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation. Some additional methods of funding come from sources such as WISTEC, Wisconsin's Assistive Technology Program, or other grant programs. You can learn more about AgriBility at go.wisc.edu slash AgriBility or reach out with any questions by emailing agribility at wisc.edu or calling 608-262-9336. Additional resources are available on the Extension Farm Management website, farms.extension.wisc.edu. Thank you for watching.